Hello all. Um, it's Miss Erin, Miss Erin C. I miss you all. I wanted to do a class even though we're not in school together, so I thought maybe we could try a video class. So this week we were going to be talking about Ireland, uh, which is a country in Europe, and this is not the best way to show you because it looks like this comes across as backwards on my video. But if you have a map or a globe at home, let's see if you can look for Ireland. So this is North America, and this is Washington, so let's see, this is backwards. But if you go across the United States and across the Atlantic Ocean to Europe, so hopefully we remember Europe, we did Spain, we did um, castanets, and we made paper tomatoes. So if you can find Spain that we've looked at before, if you head north, there's an ir island up here called Ireland. So hopefully you can see that on your own map somewhere because this is not super clear. But that's in Europe. We've talked about our continents. So let's talk about Ireland. So if we were in class today, um, or this week, we would have started out with drums. We were gonna do these Irish drums um, called, it looks like it would be pronounced Bodron, it's actually Boron. So these drums, I'll read you a little bit about them. The Boron was a tool before it was a musical instrument. It was used to carry peat and as a winnowing basket. And I had to look up winnowing. Winnowing is separating the hard spiky coverings from the soft kernel of wheat. So when you would pick wheat, here I have, this is my son's Boron drum. They would use it this way and put their wheat in here, and shake it around, and separate the pieces and take out the pieces they wanted. And so then, at some point, somebody figured out that that makes a fun noise and decided it was a drum. So later, the boron was used as a battle drum to strike fear into their enemies and keep a steady rhythm for the Celtic warriors to march to. And you can see why that makes a pretty deep, loud sound. So that's cool. We will do, I can't send all the drum stuff <laughs> this time. So when we're back in class together, we'll do a drum. I got, got things for us to do drums with to decorate, and this is Laura's example. So we'll do that at some point, but not today. Today I have a different project for you which I'll tell you in a little bit. So first we'll talk about Ireland. Let's see. Ireland is known for its folklore, from leprechauns with pots of gold to tales about St. Patrick riding the, ridding the island of snakes. So uh, some of you may have known that St. Patrick's Day was on Tuesday, and St. Patrick was... Um, a saint, which is Catholic, which is a religion, and there are stories about him ridding the island of snakes because on Ireland there are no snakes. Um, there weren't any snakes before he got there either. But So they have lots of folklore in Ireland. Let's see. It's also known as the Emerald, Emerald Isle because of its lush green fields. An emerald is a green stone, so when they're talking about an emerald isle, they're talking about the green. About 15,000 years ago, Ireland was covered by glaciers. Parts of Ireland are now damp peat bogs and the soggy remains of dried up ancient lakes left by those glaciers. So glaciers are ice, so it would have been a frozen land, and when the world started warming up and the glaciers melted away, the land that it left would be soggy and green, and absolutely beautiful if you can see some pictures of Ireland. 
Um, and then last on here is our animals that we always talk about. Uh, Ireland does not have a wide variety of animals. I mentioned that they don't have any snakes. There are only two kinds of mice and there's only one species of reptile, the common lizard. The Irish stoat and the Irish hare are native to Ireland. Um, that means they have always been there. They did not come from another country. Um, and the deer population has been growing. Let's see. There used to be giant Irish elk, but those have been gone. They've been extinct. They've been gone for a long time. Many types of birds make their home in Ireland, such as ducks, geese, cranes, and puffins, which I think are very cute. So the animal that we're focusing on is the Irish stoat. So this comes from Ireland. It didn't come over from another country. I don't know if you can see that very well. It looks like a weasel. It's not technically a weasel. It is a subspecies of a weasel, but it looks like a little weasel. Um, the Irish stoat, let's see, they can make several noises, including hissing and chattering when agitated. So when they're feeling grumpy or irritated or threatened, if they were scared that so they thought someone was going to hurt them, they might make hissing and chattering noises. All right, so I know usually we talk about it and the students have questions or stories, so, which is probably my favorite part of the class. So if um, you have questions or want to tell me something, if you could get your parents to send a video of you asking or type a question, I could respond. But that is the information I have for Ireland right now. So next, we'll look at the craft.